Now, up to 10,000 people who live in Tenerife are expected to join a mass protest tomorrow, right. claiming that the Canary Islands are suffering from over-tourism. Mm. So campaigners say the number of tourists coming to the island is unsustainable and ruining life there for local people. Yeah. Let's speak to Nick Dixon. Nick, Nick Dixon, who's there. Uh, Nick, there'll be people watching this morning. They've booked their holidays. They are going to Tenerife. They go there every year. They contribute to that economy. Maybe they've never been before, I mean, you know, and you know, I don't know whether they should be. Well, absolutely. <laughs> you know, we heard last year that just UK tourists alone contributed £6 billion to the Tenerife economy. Some will say it's a bit of a cheek blaming them when they're really probably helping the air. Area, aren't they? Of course they are. And let's just be clear about this. There aren't thousands of people here from the Canary Islands waiting at the airport to tell British tourists or anyone else for that matter to go home. They are, generally speaking, very welcome. But there is a feeling here that the island is kind of creaking under the strain of mass tourism and it has been for quite some time. If you drive around here, you will at times see the slogans, the graffiti on the wall, anti-tourist messages. Now, that's not specifically directed to tourists coming in here, individuals or groups. It's really sort of propaganda, if you like, for the government to sit up and take notice because local people here feel that they have a very poor quality of life and they have for quite some time, yet still new hotels and beach resorts are being constructed. So there's a very strong feeling that tourism has to be cut by perhaps even up to 30% here. Not the typical friendly welcome messages you might expect from an island blessed with year-round sunshine and millions of tourists each year. But in recent weeks, tension has erupted in the Canary Islands, with some residents saying the impact of mass tourism is ruining their lives. Many insist there are too many hotels, a dire shortage of housing for locals and roads overwhelmed with traffic. And these people here are part of an activist group on hunger strike at the moment over the construction of another hotel and beach resort on the island. There's no anger against tourists or tourism. There is a lot of anger against mass tourism. And the mass tourism has caused problems for almost every part of life, for every person who lives on this island. Uh, from, the, from the roads being gridlocked to water shortages, to sewage problems, to beaches being contaminated. And the situation has escalated. Major protests and demonstrations are taking place tomorrow, though some local business owners won't be taking part. I sell excursions, so I need to have the people around me who are coming on holiday and, and make them like a great holidays. Campaigners want a tourist tax to help ease the problems facing the islands, something the government so far has rejected. Nick Dixon, Good Morning Britain, Tenerife. Well, let's speak to Brian Harrison, who we saw there in that report, a British expat who's leading today's charge against tourism. Uh, you're blessed with living on a beautiful island with wonderful weather. Um, presumably that's what made you be an expat and go to live there in the first place. Why is the beef uh, with the people who go there on holiday and are drawn there just in the way you were? It's not the beef with the people coming here, it's the sheer amounts, the volume of people. When I arrived at the, at the island in 1991, there were maybe two million tourists a year. Now this number's gone up to over six million a year. And for an island with a limited space, that's, uh, it's unsustainable. This is the issue. So not your, the, not beef, the, the people, so your, not the... your beef then is with the people managing the island and managing the tourists on the island. The trouble is that if something like a tourist tax is imposed or indeed, you know, people just arrive and see the graffiti or hear about this protest, it's not going to be a very nice place for them to go. They might have already booked their holidays, saved up all year to be able to go on holiday and the impact will be on them when really you want the people that develop the island, don't you? Well... Firstly, the, the, the graffiti which is around the island, island is not as widespread as some UK media has claimed. It's not everywhere. Uh, you have to, you have to go, go look for it to find it. Um, 
Tourists are always welcome here. There, there, there will be no hostility towards any tourists. But obviously, action has to be taken. The government has had three decades to resolve this issue. It's been getting worse every single year, every decade. And this is a last resort to really get the government to take notice that they have to take action to limit tourism, to, to make tourism sustainable, because at the moment it's not sustainable. It's causing a lot of damage to, uh, to the island, to the lives of the residents. It's, it, it, it's, it's a very negative impact. Mm. But what, what would you say, though? You know, the, it, the, it's, the, it's the freedom of people able to go and enjoy a holiday in Tenerife that is actually that Tenerife is built upon. I mean, £6 billion last year went to the local economy there. You know, the argument, if you, even if you limit the amount of tourist visit, it may affect the country as a whole. People might start looking for other destinations and feel that Tenerife isn't a very welcome place. There, there's no economical model which... Uh proves that limiting tourism and, and increasing the quality of tourism has a negative impact. Um, on the contrary, a lot of uh, places, uh, destinations such as Mallorca, Barcelona, uh, other places around Europe, they all, imply, they all apply a tourist tax and there's no negative impact at all, economic or, or, or otherwise. OK. So, what, just, just clarify, what is it you're calling for? What do you want the local authorities to do? They limit the amount of people coming in or to increase taxes there? OK. Several, several points. The first point is to stop the construction of tourist developments, especially in natural protected areas, which is a big issue here. Secondly, limit the, the, the holiday letting, which is... Uh, it's, it's basically uncontrolled on the island. Um, this has caused a huge housing crisis. Right. People can't get homes. And then applying a tourist tax would probably automatically limit the tourism, okay. plus uh, create a, a revenue income right. to, to restore uh, damaged parts of the island. All right. uh, Brian, we're going to have to leave it there, but thank you so much uh, for joining us. I mean, enjoy the sunshine today. We're not getting an awful lot of that here, but...